I just put a little bend in my cable end so it fits up there nice and clears that header. So this friend of mine had a 67 Chevelle that was built really strong, 454, and it was bored out to 468, open plenum manifold, dominator, real tricked out heads and everything. And with all that modification, with the weight of that car and everything, he got 11s. And it really sounded tough. And at the drag strip, he's making a run, and you know, it's going like 125 miles an hour, that 90 degree bend that he put in that lug that went to the starter so the cable would clear. When you put the battery in the trunk, now you gotta bring the cable all along the frame, and then it's gotta go for a little ride through an airspace, and you don't want it to touch any exhaust and melt on there, so you try to tighten the lead where it's gonna stay rigid and not get near the exhaust and burn the insulation off. But the brack, I mean the lug cracked and it fell down. So now you got like 650 amps of power from the battery burning a hole through the header. And then the whole cable got heated up and the insulation starts on fire and he's got this fire going on, you know, and the car dies and everything. And then you get, that's why they have a master disconnect switch on a drag car. So that when he quick got out of the belts and everything, he could disconnect the power. Because a direct short, it's happened in guys that had car accidents and stuff, and the battery gets hit and damaged, and now it's up against the sheet metal, and just burns a hole right through metal. 